What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Hope you're having a great day. Um, there's an empty space behind me. The cube, the 80 liter cube from Sera. It's gone. I sold it. It's time for a new project. Uh, in that space we're going to put the new uh, scapers tank from Danelle, the 70 liter one. I just did an unboxing video. If you didn't see it yet, I'll put a link up there. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Alright, so in the previous video I mentioned that I needed a cabinet for the Daniel Escapers tank. Uh, and what better place to get a cabinet for your aquarium than IKEA. So just recently they opened up the IKEA stores in the Netherlands again. So today we took a little trip there and we got this. So this is an IKEA Besta cabinet. So I'll do Open it up and I'll set it up and I'll do a little time lapse. All right, well, that was pretty easy. So we got the black uh, Besta cabinet. Um, has a footprint of 60 centimeters by 40 centimeters, so it's perfect for the escapers tank. And then we chose the concrete look uh, door. I think this match matches with our house real nice because the walls are also lot of sort of concrete style. Anyway, let's go put the tank on. Okay, so let's have a little closer look. So again, it's the, um, this is the black Besta cabinet from Ikea, uh, measure 60 by 40. And now with the legs installed, it's about 74 centimeters high in total. Let's see what's inside. So I've already put the filter and the CO2 inside just to see if everything fits nicely. The doors have a nice soft close system so we don't scare the fish later on sure i'm pretty happy with that all right guys so it's currently the next day uh, yesterday we finished building the cabinet for the Danella escapers tank now of course since it is an ikea cabinet um, they're not really known for their strength i guess um, it's not a very big tank but i want to reinforce it a little bit uh, so i thought about how we're going to reinforce it and did a little bit of research I came across this video from a German aquascaper and he's very well known. His name is Aqua Owner on YouTube. Um, if you guys haven't seen him, definitely check him out. Um, yeah, he has this um, kind of cabinets and he has a video on how he re reinforces them. So I'm just gonna do what he did. And that is, um, I have four of these uh, pillars. I'm gonna put one of each in every corner. Um, this will make it a lot stronger. It will really reinforce this cabinet and stop it from from wobbling. And I also have this um, this thing. No idea how you call this in English, um, but this is gonna go on the bottom, uh, in between the four legs, just to make sure that it doesn't um, collapse in the middle. I guess. Now if if this is something that you want to do yourself, um, these pillars uh, they have to be 58 centimeters. And this thing right here, you can just buy it at IKEA. They sell it. All right, so I've removed the top again. Now it's just a matter of securing these in place like so. I'm not actually gonna drill any holes. I'm just gonna glue it in place actually, um, just with silicone glue. Silicone glue. Um, I don't wanna drill any holes because this material is very, very fragile. I'm afraid if I'm gonna drill holes, I'm gonna break it. So just simple gluing in place, that should do the trick. All right, so the four pillars are now glued in place. Put some weight on it to keep it down. Let's see how it looks inside. Yeah, can't really see much. So first I put some glue on the bottom of the pillar, put that in place, did that with all four. Then put a little bit of glue on top of the pillar, put the top of the cabinet on top, top on top, 
Okay, so that's the first part of the re reinforcing done. The second part is putting this thing on the bottom here, like so. Yeah, we have to wait for the rest to, to dry. All right, guys, that's part one, all done. Uh, part two, we're gonna make some more adjustments, do some more reinforcing. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.